The book is about spiritual transformation against a background of the Mayan prophecy. They identified about a thousand years into this the center of the Milky Way as being the point of stillness. And just to impress you a little bit, they were correct, and we didn't know where the center was until 1991. But they, they pinpointed it. And they determined that at some time, the sun was going to arise precisely from that center and be the rebirth of another world. And they projected that day to be the 21st of December, 2012. But it is true that come 2012, there'll be almost like a rupture of consciousness. That suddenly, we're going to be aware of things that we simply today aren't. My own view is that it's going to be more organic that we'll get to 2012, and there may be a, f a form of catharsis, but it will have waves and ripples that go far beyond. This, by the way, is the first of a trilogy. And the second one that I'm working on now, and should be out in a year, has to do with the struggle between light and dark leading up to 2012, and what will be required. And the third one, which the second one is called Dawn on Kukukan, and the third one is called The Ascent of Teonantli. And Teonantli is a Nahual name for the divine feminine. And my guides have told me that the only way through this debacle is for the feminine side of us all to come full force. She said to me, would you like to meet your guides? I said, oh, that's interesting. What is this? And she said, we all have guides. And what they do, they are spiritual manifestations inside you. And I'll help you meet yours. So I said, OK, you know, we got a little time. And so she took me down in a meditation and said, all right, now we're going to enter a, a, an old chapel picture whatever you'd like, put all your cares over here on this silver tray on the left, and go up to the front pew and sit in the, on the right side. And when you're ready, you'll notice that on the right is a wooden door. And when you go through that wooden door on the other side, you will find your guides. So we went into the meditation, and I was sitting there, and she said, when you're ready, go through the door. Well, in five minutes or so, I had become a very good meditator by then, for out of need. I walked through the door, and there on the other side were 26 guides. And they were all men, dressed in white, and their leader had a gold collar. But this time, I was smart enough to ask, hey, guys, why are we here? And they almost said, we thought you'd never ask. <laughs> they spoke individually, and they spoke as a group. And in three months, with me, with my eyes closed, they downloaded this.